We all know that when we are given a data set, the first thing we want to do with that data is to look at it graphically. One of the plots or graphs that you can use to look at a data set graphically is the dot plot. The dot plot should be used when the total number of data values in your data set is relatively small. The reason for this is when we construct a dot plot, we will graph a dot for every single data value in the data set. So if your data set has 50, 100, or 200 data values, a dot plot is probably not the best graphical representation tool to use. There are other tools that are better for larger data sets. We will construct a dot plot for the following data. The data consists of the median age in every county in Maryland and also Baltimore City. This data comes from the 2000 U.S. Census. The first thing you must do when constructing a dot plot is to come up with an axis. And the axis must range from your smallest data value to the largest data value. The data in the table is organized as we go down this column and then this column from the minimum median age, 33.3 .3 years, up to the maximum age, 43.3 years. So the first thing is to construct an axis, again, ranging in data values from the, sm the smallest data value to the largest data value. The second thing you want to include in every graphical representation you do is the title of your graph or plot and you want to label the units used in your plot. So let's go ahead and do that. The title of our graph is Median Age for Maryland Counties in Baltimore City and our axis is the years, the age in years. Now we want to start plotting data values. We have our axis. We now just plot each of our median ages in our data set. Our first median age is 33.3 .3 years. That's right about there. You just put a dot for, that represents the median age for Prince George's County. The next age is 34.2. 346. 35.0, 35.5, we have another 35.5, so we have two counties with the same median age. When that happens in a dot plot, you just put another dot right above the first dot. The next is 35.6, and you continue putting dots for every data value in your data set. So after plotting one dot for every data value, you end up with a completed dot plot that looks like this. What do you want to get out of your graphical representation? You want to talk about the four characteristics of a data distribution. The center, the shape, the spread of the data distribution, and whether there are any outliers or not. We see that the greatest con concentration of ages are in the 35 and a half up to 36 and a half age range. So looking at this data distribution, what would you say as the approximate center of the distribution would be? I would say it's somewhere between 36 and uh, 37 years approximately. What is, the, what is the shape of the data distribution? When a dot plot does not have many repeat data values, sometimes it's hard to look and look at a dot plot and be able to say the, you know, the definitive shape of the data distribution. In fact, for this problem, we will go ahead and actually do a histogram using the calculator to verify what we think is the shape of the distribution. I think the shape of the distribution is probably right skewed. On the low values of age, we have a few low values. Then we have a concentration of ages. Then as we get further and further away from that concentration, the ages decrease and are more spread out. So my guess is that when we 
actually look at a histogram of this data and we group some of the ages together, that we will see that the shape of this distribution is right skewed. What is the spread of the data? Well, we can take one measure of spread is the maximum value minus the minimum value. What is the maximum value? 43.3 years minus the minimum of 33.3 years, which gives us a spread of 10 years. Are there any outliers or extreme values in our data set? I would probably classify the two greatest ages, median ages, as outliers, and I might even consider those two as outliers. So I would clearly say that these two are outliers, and if you included this, that would probably be okay too. When we look at graphical representations of data, there's always subjectivity that comes into it. it uh, you know, the true objectivity or more objectivity comes in when we look at numerical summaries. But just looking at the data via a graphical representation, there's a lot of subjectivity involved. So I'm going to classify the four greatest values as outliers. 40.7 years, 41.3 years, 43.0 years, and 43.3 years as outliers. Before we leave this, let's go ahead and try and verify this shape by doing a histogram of this data on the calculator. In order to do a histogram on the calculator, the data must be stored in a list. I have entered the data into list 1. Now we are ready to go and create the histogram. Go to second stat plot, plot number 1. We want a histogram. We want it of list 1. We are first going to let the calculator determine the bin width and the intervals between bins. Let's see what that looks like. We go to zoom number 9 and we have the calculated calculator generated histogram. To see what boundaries are used for our bins, let's hit trace. We see that the first bin has a go will contain any ages between 33.3 years and less than 34.97 years. The second bin will contain median ages equal to 34.97 years but less than 36.6 years. Let's create our own bin widths that make a little bit more sense that do not break the ages in, in such decimal fractions. Let's go to window. We want the minimum X data to go from 33. Let's say we want to go up to 45. Let's say we want our bin width to be two years. Now let's graph, and here's our histogram using our predefined bin widths. Again, let's go to trace. Again, we see that our first bin will contain any median age between 33 and less than 35. The second bin contains, contains any median ages between 35 years but less than 37. There were two counties with median ages between 33 and 35. There were 10 between 35 and 37. Recall on the dot plot we said the greatest concentration of ages were, were in that range between 35 and 37. There were five counties with median ages between 37 and 39, two counties between 39 and 41, one county between 41 and 43, and two counties between 43 years and 45 years. Here, by grouping different age ages into one category, we see that the shape of the data distribution is in fact right skewed. So in recap, if the number of data values in your data set is relatively small, a dot plot is a good choice for the graphical representation to use to look at the data. The advantage of a dot plot is that you see each and every data value. Nothing is lost. You see the minimum value, the maximum value, and every data point in between. Once you have your dot plot, make sure you talk about the center, the shape, 
the spread of the data distribution, and whether the data distribution has any outliers or not.